and we will get those uh, kids trophy presenting names out here very soon. Caution lights go out, race fans. Top four move on to the Malvern Bank main event here at Off-Road Speedway. It's going to be the former Sport Mod champions, Nelson Volbrecht, on the point. Here we go. Last chance for one last dance. We are green and Predator Custom Trailers be featured number one. Off through one and two the first time. Off the top will be Zach Zeitner to take the race lead. Down the back stretch, Nelson Volbrecht settles into position number two. Ben Sukup runs third early on. Chase Osborne has that final transfer spot early on as Zeitner takes lap one. Volbrecht is second. Sukup runs third. Chase Osborne, the fourth and final transfer spot right now. Brad Purdue outside looking in the 25. Caleb Jasperson and Jeff Segabart round out the field. As we go into turn number three this time, Zeitner off the top. Tell you what, those laps that he ran on the outside line are definitely paying off. Zeitner's using it to his advantage. And now Sukup looking to the inside of Volbrecht. That's for the second spot as they go down the back straightaway. Not going to happen there. Chase Osborne holding down the fourth and final transfer spot for the time being. Zeitner continues to lead it. Second and a half advantage for the 76 out of Bellevue, Nebraska. Meanwhile, Sukup all over the backside of Volbrecht for the second spot as they go into turn number three. Sukup looking the inside the Power Sports Nation 07, trying to get a better starting spot in that feature. Both those spots are transferring positions, but the better you finish, the better you start in the main. And Sukup takes the second spot with authority off of turn two. Ben Sukup now up to the second spot. Volbrecht runs in third. Chase Osborne still hanging on to that fourth and final transfer spot. Brad Purdue outside looking at his Volbrecht slides up the hill. Maybe a, maybe a retaliation move. Couldn't make it happen. And now Chase Osborne looking to take the third spot away. White flag comes out next time by. And right now Zach Zeitner picking him up and laying him down. I believe this is where Zeitner got his career best finish here at Off-Road Speedway last year in the Bob Hossi Memorial. I believe he came home seventh in that main event. And he is looking strong here. Down the back straightaway and into three for the final time. Checker flag is going to fly. It is going to be the Zach attack. Zach Zeitner wins Predator Custom Trailer Speed feature number one. Second at the line will be Ben Sukup. Third will be Nelson Volbrecht. Chase Osborne gets the final transfer spot. Then it's Brad Purdue, Caleb Jasperson, and Jeff Segabart to round out the field. So race fans, your top four moving on to the main event. The 14 at Chase Osborne. The 11X, Nelson Volbrecht. The 07 of Ben Sukup and your winner from Bellevue, Nebraska in the Zeitner and Sons Transport, Stumpy's Custom Creations, Predator Custom Trailers, Blaha Services, Salinda's Daycare, number 76. Give it up for him, Zach Zeitner. Field double files up, caution lights go out, and the Malvern Bank Super Late Miles West Series pace car is going to make the left-hand turn to the infield. Final four spots in the Malvern Bank main event are on the line here at Off-Road Speedway. Kurt Schroeder on point, race fans. This is the last chance for one last dance. Here at Off-Road Speedway, we are green in our second Predator Custom Trailers B feature. Off into one, Schroeder will lead the stampede and he will take the early race lead. Meanwhile, Darrell DeFrance to the outside of Jim Johnson for that third spot as they go down the back straightaway. Johnson and DeFrance back and forth for that final, for the third transfer spot. Schroeder takes lap one. Very strong run early on. Andy Eikhoff running in that second spot. Jim Johnson and Gerald DeFrance side by side. Those are the last two transfer spots on the line. Schroeder starting to extend that advantage as they come off a of turn number four this time. At the line, 84 one hundredths of a second is the advantage for Schroeder over Eikhoff. Meanwhile, Chris Johnson off the low side gets by Eric Van Osdale. Van Osdale trying to return the favor as they go to turn number three. The car pushes into three and Johnson will, main, will maintain the spot at the stripe. Top four starting to break away. Jim Johnson now won a feature win with the Malvern Bank Series. That was back in 2016 when he pulled the big upset at the Boone County Fairgrounds in Albion. Johnson back to the low side, but the Ironman, Daryl DeFrance, hangs on to third. Laps wind down quickly. We're halfway home already. Kurt Schroeder, the leader. Andy Eikhoff actually starting to reel him in. Here comes the action man on the backside of Schroeder. Schroeder's got the lead. Eikhoff. Leaving his first Malvern Bank Series start of his career. Been a long time modified racer. Made the move over to the late model full time this year. Of course, his teammate Travis Dickus is already in the big show. Eikhoff trying to put this team wholesale into the big dance. Two to go. And Eikhoff threatening Schroeder for that race lead. 
Down the back stretch they go and into turnover three. White flag will come out this time. Quarter of a mile to go for the Kurt Schroeder CPA pre-owned auto Des Moines 15C out of Newton, Iowa. Showing great strength here. Here goes Eikhoff losing a bit of ground there. Down the back straight went into three for the final time. Checker flag is going to fly race fans. Kurt Schroeder will win your second Predator Custom Trailer Speed feature. Andy Eikhoff will join him in the main. Gerald France gets third. Jim Johnson comes home fourth. Then it's Chris Johnson, Eric Van Osdale, and Mike Benson to round out the field. So your top four moving on. Race fans give it up for him. The 36 of Jim Johnson. The 99D of Daryl DeFrance. The 9 of Andy Eikhoff. And your winner out of Newton, Iowa, in the Kurt Schroeder CPA pre-owned autos of Des Moines. Jet Training Services, CRP Services, Gateway Plumbing, number 15C. Give it up for him, North for Kurt Schroeder. Jesse Sobbing once again has never tasted victory here at Off-Road Speedway. Kyle Berg won the first race here for the Malvern Bank Series back in 2015. Tad Pospisil, the most recent winner here at Off-Road Speedway. Currently 10 points over Burke to the good going into this race. They start inside row two and row three. Pospisil trying to make it two wins in a row on his home track. One to go signal. Caution lights go out on the pace car and the caution lights go out around the speedway. Also, keep your eyes on that red number 21 T of Travis Dickus. Kyle Burke to the inside of row number two, but Dickus on the outside of the out four of Tad Pospisil. Here we go, race fans. Caution lights go out and we're ready to go. The crazy one and Billy the King bring us down. Green flag is up and the main event is underway here at Off-Road Speedway. Off into one, Jesse Sobbing slides up to take the outside lane away from Bill Layton Jr. Layton trying to cross him over down the back straightaway and into turn number three. They're side by side to kick things off. Side by side between the Black Diamonds. Off of turn number four, it's gonna be the crazy one to lead lap number one. Second at the line was Bill Layton Jr. Kyle Burke runs, th actually Ben Shelton. Kyle Burke runs third right now. Andrew Kosicki runs fourth. Battle is on for fifth between Tad Pospisil and Travis Dickus. Pospisil moves ahead of Dickus for that fifth spot as Sobbing takes lap two. Bill Layton Jr. runs in the second spot. Meanwhile, Pospisil and Kosicki going back and forth for the fourth spot early on here in this one. Todd Cooney running back in position number seven right now, trying to hunt down Dickus for that spot. J.C. Wyman now, good run to the inside of Cooney, but Cooney keeps the spot away from him by half a car length. Laps go by fast here at the Off-Road Speedway. I always say that when we come out here. Jesse Sobbing starting to separate himself early on. Sobbing trying to, be, trying to get his fifth win of his career. I believe his first one since 2017, since winning at Eagle Raceway at the Nebraska Cup. Sobbing, picking them up and laying them down early on here. The Tanner Racing Dirt Track Bank sponsored Black Diamond, number 99. Doing good work up here. Bill Layton Jr. running in that second spot. Kyle Burke switched to the Longhorn chassis for 2021. Doing a good job. Only 10 points out of the lead going into tonight. And just like that, like I said before, before the race went green, lap traffic is going to become available. We're only go we're going in on lap number seven right now, and already Sobbing has caught the back of the field. First back marker will be the 11X of Nelson Bolbrecht. So the former Sport Mod track champion here at Off-Road Speedway will go down a lap these next couple of times. Sobbing has the outside lane to himself. Bill Lane Jr. running in that second spot. Battle is on for the fourth spot now. Tad Pospisil looking to the inside of Andrew Kaziski, trying to tighten up that gap because right now Burke has two spots over Pospisil this time. We got trouble in turn two. Corey Zeitner's gone around. Caution out. First caution of the race comes out for Corey Zeitner spinning out in turn at number two. So far, seven laps in the books, 23 to go here at Off-Road. So the caution lights go out. Delaware double file restart coming to the field. Jesse Somming has the front row to himself. Bill Ayton Jr. choosing the outside lane. We'll see how that affects things as we come off at turn number four. We're back underway here in Norfolk. Good takeoff for Kyle Berg. He'll slide up to take that second spot away from Leighton. Leighton good for the crossover. Three wide there momentarily as Pospisil at the bottom lane to himself. Caution out. We've got trouble in turn number one. Dylan Schmier has gone around. So one of the heat race winners has spun out in turn one. Nice jump there by Kyle Burke and the out four of Tad Pospisil on the restart, but it's not to be because with the spin of Dylan Schmier, we go back last complete lap. Go to have seven laps down, 23 to go. Had a good run in the modified. Had a good run in the modified. 
F1, one of the qualifying features. Here we go, caution lights are out. We're ready to get to it right off at of turn number four. The crazy one brings us back down to the green flag. Burke with another good restart off the bottom. Pospisil staying true to the low side. Trying to fend off the fourth spot from Andrew Kaziski. Kaziski noses ahead for the fourth position on entry to three. One by two by two by one by one. As they come off at turn number four this time, Sobbing completes lap number eight. And now Burke to the inside of Layton. That's for the second spot as they go down the back straightaway. The Marquette Missile and Billy the Kid right now battling it out for position number two. How many times have we seen these two go at it? That's first and third on the all-time win list, duking it out. Jesse Sobbing with the lead down the back stretch. Bill Layton Jr. in second. Kyle Burke chasing him down through to Andrew Kaziski, Tad Pospisil, Travis Dickus now in that sixth spot. 19 laps to go here at the off-road speedway. Ben Suka, keep your eyes on the Norfolk native. He's making his way through the field very nicely. Suka now working his way up to position number eight on the speedway. Keep your eyes on the Power Sports Nation 07. 18 laps to go. Jesse Sobbing high, wide, and handsome in the 99. Bill Layton Jr. following his tracks, followed by Kyle Burke, Andrew Kuziski. Then you have Tad Pospisil, Travis Dickus and the 30 of Todd Cooney. Andrew Kaziski now closing in on Kyle Burke for that third spot as they go into turn number one. Burke slipped up in turn one, and AK throws the slide jump on him. The Marquette Missile trying to turn it back underneath him. He will do so on entry to turn number three. So the battle for the final podium spot is hot and heavy. Kyle Burke trying to close that in, that gap on Tad Pospisil in the standings. Only 10 points separate him going into this feature. Kaziski slips up, and Pospisil gets the spot away. Jesse Sobbing coming around 15 laps to go. Jesse Sobbing in the lead, followed by Kyle Burke. Then you have Tad Pospisil, Andrew Kaziski. Then it is Travis Dickens, Todd Cooney, and the odd seven of Ben Sukup. Keep your eyes on him. Now Sobbing is going to collect lap traffic here very soon. Bill Layton Jr. could be in the catbird seat here before too long. Layton could have the race play into his hands as Sobbing. Now lap traffic is double wide right in front of your leader, and it's only thicker from there. Dylan Schmier going to be the first back marker, and now it looks like our first dropout is going to be Andy Eikhoff. The action man pulls it to the infield, and Sobbing oh! gets into the lap car. He gets by, but he has to muscle his way around. Jesse Sobbing slide slam in the side of Dylan Schmier. Late Bill sideways. Bill Jr. out of the way. That's going to lose ground for the 24 of Leighton on Sobbing. And now Sobbing about to put the 15C of Kurt Schroeder down the lap. Laps are winding down fast. And we have about, I believe this time by, it will be 11 laps to go here in the main event. It's been all Jesse Sobbing right now. Sabi, I believe, currently sitting fifth in the standings coming into the off-road speedway. Has never won here. Could the crazy one be the next new winner here in Norfolk? Three wide with black traffic. Jesse Sabi held up by the 99D of Dare France. Here comes Bill Layton Jr. And right behind him, the 14 of Kyle Burke. They gained a little ground on Jesse Sabi, trying to get by Daryl to France. Here he comes out of turn number four. Now he's high, wide, and handsome. Jesse Sabi with the lead. Only nine laps to go. Now Tad Pospisil has pressure from Andrew Kaziski. Those guys have been in a very spirited battle for that fourth spot. So a good battle there between Kaziski and Pospisil. It's been back and forth between them. But right now, Jesse Sobbing, he puts the 11X of Nelson Volbrecht down a lap. About to put the 14 to Chase Osborne down a lap. So a pair of Norfolk natives going to go down. A pretty good show there. Oh, and Tad got a little bit sideways. That's going to allow Travis Dickens to move by. Here comes the former champion in the 21T. Pospisil trying to battle back. Seven laps to go, Jesse Sobbing, Bill Layton Jr. Look at Kyle Burke right behind Layton Jr. Then you have Andrew Kaziski, Tad Pospisil, Travis Dickus right there. And here comes the odd seven of Ben Sukup. How about that? The Norfolk natives are coming to life late. This was Sukup with a big charge. The power sports nation 07. And it's the Eddie get, oh. collects the lap car. Kurt Schroeder goes around. Cooney hard on the brakes, and the caution is out again. Ben Sukup just could not get around the lap car, and Schroeder got hooked. Around he went. Wow. Boy, tight race in there, Anthony, with the lap traffic. And as you said, lap traffic will play a role, but Ben Sukup, where did he come from? Because all of a sudden, he's challenging Tad Potsdam for position. I think he's good. If possible, I think Ben Sukup is going to be a candidate for the Hard Charger Award later on tonight. 
It's going to get wild here. Caution lights go out. We go single, single file. file. Jesse Sobbing has been the race leader up to this point. Six laps to go here at Off-Road Speedway. Everyone fights for the bottom. Jesse Sobbing cut off the nose to Bill Layton Jr. Says, no, you're not. You're not going to cut underneath me. Kyle Burke trying to gain the back of Bill Layton Jr. Here comes AK Andrew Kaziski. Ben Suk up in that fifth spot. Another lap down. We have six, five laps to go. It's going to get hot and heavy here. Andrew Kaziski to the inside of Kyle Burke. That's for the last podium spot. Keep your eyes on him. Here comes Charlie McKenna with a good run. Last year's pole setter for the Bob Hazy Memorial around the points leader. Here comes Charging Charlie out of Ames, Iowa. Great run there. He's up to the sixth spot. And Leighton out of shape. Here comes Burke. Jesse Savi with the lead coming out of turn four. High, wide, and Hampton. Bill Leighton Jr. doing the same. Kyle Burke running about mid flat. And then here comes A.K. Andrew Kaziski, Ben Sukup, and Charlie McKenna with three to go. Two to go signal will be coming up as Burke and Layton back and forth there with Jesse Sobbing. He wants none of this. He will get the two to go signal. White flag comes out next time by. Jesse Sobbing with the lead. Bill Layton Jr., last night's winner at I-80 in second. Kyle Burke, Andrew Kaziski. Look at Ben Sukup now on the inside of A.K. for fourth as the white flag comes out, one to go. Here we go, final lap around off-road speedway. He started on the pole, and he's gonna take the whole thing for himself, race fans. It's gonna get crazy here in Norfolk. Jesse Sobbing gets his first win at off-road speedway in the first of 2021. Bill Aiden Jr. is second, Kyle Burke third, Ben Suka fourth, and Andrew Kaziski rounds out the top five, narrowly edging out Tad Pospisil. Travis Dickus, Charlie McKenna, and then also you had in there Todd Cooney. But what a race, Anthony. What a race for Team Crazy Jesse Sobbing. Give it up for him, race fans. First ever win for this driver out of Malvern, Iowa. Give it up for him. Car number 99, your winner, Jesse Sobbing. Hudson Mylander. Hudson Mylander, you are the junior trophy presenter. Hudson Mylander. Head on down. The winner, Team Crazy, Jesse Sobbing, pulling up here to the front stretch.